So let's talk about the new Samsung 970 Evo M.2 drives. In this case, I have a two terabyte drive. You guys may have the one terabyte version or the 500 gigabyte version or, or some, some other version of this, but this is the two terabyte version. I don't think it depends on the size, but recently there has been some issues with Windows not detecting the, the M.2 drive. And I just recently built a new computer and upon installation of the, uh, the new M.2 drive and the first boot up of my computer, Windows did not recognize this M.2 drive. The BIOS did, and I'm using the, uh, the MSI Z390 Tomahawk motherboard. The BIOS for that motherboard recognized this drive, but Windows did not. This had been my first time building a computer in a, in a long time, 13 years, and so upon researching this issue, I, I figured out that I was not the only one whose Windows installation did not recognize this new M.2. Things used to be so simple. All you used to, to have to do is just connect the, uh, the hard drive, whether it be solid state or hard disk, to the power supply and then connect the hard drive to the motherboard and you were set, good to go. But nowadays, not so much the case anymore, at least in the case of the Samsung uh, 970 Evo drives. I'm not sure if this problem affects other M.2s, but uh, this is my only M.2 ever, so uh, this is all I'm familiar with. So. Uh, fortunately, there is an easy fix, and we're about to get into it. So here, here I am in Windows Explorer in my drive view, and if you notice, the 2 terabyte M.2 drive is not showing up here. And if you guys have just recently install, installed one, you may be kind of seeing something like this too. You see all your other drives, but the M.2 is not showing up. Here is what to do, or here is what I would recommend doing first if you haven't done this already. Navigate to this website right here, samsung.com slash semiconductor slash mini site slash SSD slash download slash tools. If you don't remember all that, you can just type in Google Samsung M.2 drivers and it should be the first link that comes up and it'll navigate, navigate you to the, uh, the same website here. Scroll all the way down to driver, the Samsung NVMe driver, and what you want to do is download and install this driver for the M.2 drive. Uh, I'm not going to do it because I already have. Once you install it, Windows should be able to recognize the drive. Not yet in uh, an Explorer view in here, but disk management, disk management. Uh, this should recognize the drive now. So if you go into your disk management setup, you should, or Windows should pick up the drive here and it does for me. And then you can right click, go to new simple volume, determine how much space you want to allocate and, and you know whatever else and assign the drive letter or whatever thing whatever else you want to do i'm not going to do that now because i still have to decide what exactly how exactly i want to partition this, this drive but this worked for me uh in terms of getting windows to finally recognize my new uh, m.2 drive now i was reading a, a thread on reddit and a bunch of people were recommending like doing all this other complicated stuff in the bios and it was all kind of foreign to me. I don't mess with BIOS settings all that much. Um, and then like way down at the very bottom of the Reddit post, there is this random guy suggesting or linking to the, to the uh, Samsung drivers. And I was like, well, I haven't done that yet. I might as well try. And it ended up working. It may not work for you. If, if, you have, if you've already done this and your new M.2 drive is still not showing up, I'm not really sure what to tell you, but this worked for me. I also want to mention that this drive right here, this uh, Disk 2 1863.02 gigabyte drive, which is my new M.2 drive, did not show up in disk management before I downloaded the drivers. I don't think I said that before, but it's important for me to mention that. Um, I, I wish I had recorded this before, just so I could show you guys that this this drive right here was not was not physically here in disk management. But uh, yeah, it was not here uh, before. And now now that I've installed the new drivers, Windows picks it up. Well, I hope this video was helpful. I'm not sure how many more tech videos like this I'll make. This is more of a photography-based channel, but since I did recently build another computer, I wanted to get this information out there and let everyone know that this was indeed helpful for me and kind of solved my issue with this new M.2 drive. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy photography or if you're even slightly into photography, I have a lot more videos about photography. Feel free to browse around and check those out. And hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one.